Hello YouTube and welcome back to Abby's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I don't have anything written in my notebook but the measurements for this card will be in the description. So this is a look at January 2024's paper pumpkin kit called Lovely Lavender. Um, this is the QR code to show you other things you can do. It gives you a visual of everything in the kit. The coordinating colors being Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, and a Pretty Peacock. <gasps> Take a deep breath, right? <laughs> okay, so um, alternate videos, video number four. We have one more video where I'm going to walk you through everything. Hopefully this will not take too long. So this is a look at the stamps. This is a great little piece of paper they included with the printing. You fold it, you can put your stamps in there and I suggest you store them in a clear envelope. It works for me and many others, I know. Then a look at our card bases. So our card bases are this little polka dot one, the envelope to match, which you can cut up. Um, next card base is this one, front and back. Let me stick it back in the envelope. In the envelope is this on the inside, which I have already cut up and used. So let's see what else I can show you. This is, you get four of these and you punch this out and you get four of those, which are right here. You get four of these strips that are like three quarters of an inch by, I would say, four. So let me put this in here. I'm just showing you. I'm not going to pull out every single thing. I try to, I when I undo it, I bag it up in little baggies that I keep reusing. You get four of these. You get all of those. What else can I show you? I'm not going to show you the trash bits because I kept all of them just in case I wanted to use them. Now you got this whole great big one. This is part of one. You got two of these. We're using the other one. It's a little longer. So this is it. I just go ahead, instead of pulling it out of the bag that was in the box, we're gonna be using that. You got these green bits. We're gonna use one of these. This one, this one, this shows you the little one this sentiment strip and this one. So that I think does it. It also shows you the love of spring dyes, the word love, which we are using in this card. Um, these were an add on that you could get And where's my little plastic sleeve. I don't know. So let's just set that aside. Um, I'm using the brilliant wings dies. They are retired. They're butterflies. We have butterflies, a package of 80 butterflies in the mini catalog. Oh, page like 43. I didn't want to take time for this, but let's look it up again. I should mark it. I got rid of all of mine. I used them and then I sent what I had left over out to everybody. So here they are, page 23. So if you don't have the brilliant wings, these are great butterflies. They're you get five to a sheet and you get 80 for eight, no, 40 for eight dollars, five of each size. You could do what I'm doing with with those if you don't have the retired brilliant wings set. So let's get started. I have a sample for you. This is my card. You can see there's the butterfly. This is from Forever Ferns. I'll show you the die. If I can pick it up, maybe not. There we go. This one, because I needed something that represents the green. This is the love die. I got it a little sideways. And isn't this gorgeous? Doesn't that just light up? Dollar store. Here it is. This right here. This ribbon. I, I was like, oh my gosh, it, it's so jeweled colored. It's perfect. Um, I accidentally cut two pieces. <laughs> So I have one, this is roughly three and three quarters, not roughly, it is. So I will put the measurements on in the description, like I said, I just, I only have like 25 minutes to do this video, so let's do it. This is the inside. Let me go over what you are going to need. So I have a gorgeous grape card base, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. 
for the inside. This is four by five and a quarter. The address label, this one is shy. This is four by five and a quarter. No, it's not. So this must be wrong. I'll have to fix that. That's for my address label for the clear envelope. I have another piece of gorgeous grape that is four by five and a quarter, and I embossed it with a script embossing folder. It's kind of cockeyed, but it's going to do. Here's that big green piece. Here's the Brilliant Wings Butterfly with that uh, holographic in it and two of the um, lavender bits, which I'm probably going to cut up, but let's get going. There's not a whole lot of stamping for this, but this needs to be trimmed down to four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside. So it is not right at four. Hmm. It was just a wee off. So this is what we're going to stamp first. Because everything else is basically done. You can look at my sample while I'm stamping so you guys can see what I'm doing on the inside. But I am going to re... No, I'm not. Am I going to reverse it? I just... I don't know if I want to use Berry Burst at all. I don't think so. I think I just want to ink me up. <laughs> No, I really don't want to do that. Let's get that off, hopefully. Now I bet the back of my acrylic nail is going to be dyed pink. It's just one of those things. So we want... So I am I put the width that came with the stamp set. I stuck that right above love. We're going to use that. We're going to use this. Happy Valentine's Day. And my little speckly stamp here. So we're just going to go along the side in gorgeous grape. So we're going to, oops, let's try to ink it up all the way maybe. So stamp off one, stamp off two, stamp off three. All right, and where is my label? We're going to do the same to the label, but just down in the corner. So stamp off, there we have it. And then I'm gonna take my little speckly stamp and I'm gonna stamp off twice cause I just want it really light. Just around there like that, perfect. And then in full strength, happy Valentine's Day. This is my mailer. So this is now done. If I could find the darn clear envelope. I can see there is something stuck in my, probably from the dog food <laughs> of all things. All right, so this, cause this is going in the side, we wanna do that speckly bit. Stamp off twice and stamp, stamp and stamp. That did the whole thing. Now we're going to come in with With Love. I know my last video was kind of long. This one will not be. With Love. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. I absolutely love it. So this is done for the inside. We're going to set that aside, this aside, and we don't... No, we are going to stamp. I just can't. I just have to because I thought of this when I was putting that one together. So I already did the embossing. And the reason being is because I got fingerprints on here from something or other. So we're going to stamp. I want to check. I want it full strength. So stamp, stamp. We're going to get three stampings. One, two, and three. We're just going to go all over it. One, two, and three. Up and down. One, two, and three. Oops, I missed some. So stamp off and fill it in. Stamp, 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 and stamp. Oh, look at that. Look at the difference. That little bit does make a difference. It's going to make it make a difference when you put it on here 
you're really going to see it pop from the back. And I wanted to do tone on tone. This is my way of doing that. So now we can close this up. All right. Put that away. Bring our card base down here. And this, we're going to add the glue in between the lines of embossing wherever it's nice and flat. Just right across wherever it's flat at your glue or your tape runner, whatever it is you choose to do. This is my way of doing it. We're gonna put this one down. Now we're gonna glue the inside. This is why I like to have things pre-done, just so it helps move things along. All of these videos don't need to be so um, long. If I can do it in advance to make the video, you know, more reasonable, I'm going to do that. And I appreciate those of you who support me in that, especially the die cutting. I don't enjoy watching people die cut unless there's some kind of a tip. So I have one of those brilliant wings, if I could find it. Where is it? Mm -mm. No, nope, not wanting to play nice here. This is the forever ferns bit. Uh, it's right here. I'm not using the stamp set, just the dies. You get all those and it has the solid part of them, but that is retired. So if you have it, pull that on out because I've got several, I've got a whole thing of butterflies over here that I did. So this bit, I can tell you right now, this has got to go. That has just got to go. Don't want that. And I know from doing the other one, I want this over there. And I'm thinking I need to cut this apart. And I knew I would be wanting to do that. So let's just do it. Doesn't mean I won't keep it. It just means I'm going to be maybe putting it somewhere else. I really need my other scissors, the thinner bladed scissors for this. So this is okay. It's this bit up here that I'm not crazy about. If it doesn't bother you, you guys can keep it for yours or, you know, do like what I did and cut a forever fern or some other big leafy bit. So this is more tailored to the size of that one. And I can either add this on here or actually I'm going to keep this for something else. So I'm going to add it over there. Now I'm going to glue this down and I know where is my little ribbon bits. This is going to go here and I am going to stick this like right here about the third one. So there's an in like right there. That's where I'm going to start to glue it. So I am going to add glue to every little leaf because I want this glued nice and flat down. I don't want any flippity floppity bits. So here's my in. There. This does leave me using this one, that one. It leaves me room for the love and you'll have to see what I use in a second. I'm using, come on. I know you guys had glue on there. Maybe not enough. I want you all glued down nicely. So I already put tear tape. Like I said, this is three and three quarters inch. It's about three quarters of an inch wide. It's from the dollar store, guys. It was just something I picked up and I saw it sitting here because I hadn't put it away. And I was like, oh my gosh, wouldn't that sparkle on the card? And it does. So I just put it on there like so. And now the fun bit is these. I know that this is going to get cut off. I know one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to cut this one right here because I want to, you know me, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to make it work for me. So 
So I might need to cut that other one off. Round this out. Oh, my little dog is a snoring, snoring, snoring. So I can tuck this one. Maybe I'll have to bring back that other piece. This one, I think, is just too darn big. Let's see. Maybe just one. That one was just so big, I didn't like it. And I don't like that that is... Well, if I put that there, then I can add this little bit like there. That is good. Okay, do I want to add... If I cut that one off, this really will work for me. Or maybe put this one in the center. This one down here behind the butterfly's head. And then this bit stick like so. I still got to cut that off no matter how I do it. This way I'm going to cut this one off and that one off. I am. I like the placement. You guys know me. I am not afraid to cut that off. Or this one I mean I will keep them they probably will go somewhere else just not on this card so this one how did this go this one this one yes so this one's gonna go down first glue just give it a little squiggle It'll stick to something down there. This one is going to come like right there. Let me see my butterfly because my butterfly is right here. So this piece can go right there. A little squiggle of glue. Oh, I do like it. I do, I do, I do. Okay. And another squiggle. Let's cut off some of that stem. We don't need all of that going down there. Right across there. So my butterfly now is going to need dimensionals. And I want one here and one like right there. It stuck to me. All right. So there is my butterfly. Oh, so, so, so pretty. So what else do I have? Well, I cut three of these apart for the card. And then I have that love die, which see how pretty that is now that that doesn't have that big thing sticking out. See, I tried to get it around there. Oh, I'm not kidding. I thought I put glue on that piece already once. So this love then is going to go up there, but I can't grab it. So we're going to use those handy dandy. Uh, reverse tweezers. And I don't need to use any sparkle and shine because it's metallic paper that I've had literally, I, I cannot count how many years I've had it, I've lost track. So we're going to put the love right there. This time try to keep the E from going up. I think the placement on this one is so much better. And I've already done little glue dots on the back of these. I know I want one up here. This one, yes, the little tweezers do help because with my nails, I tend to get them lost. I know I wanted the silver one like right here maybe. Yeah, that looks good. This one, oh, you guys, I cut that one off. Not good. So now we have to cut another one. Not of that because that's big enough. So 
So I just took this. We're going to use this. Oh, wrong scissors. Do not want to cut this with this. They're not metal. They're plastic little bits. And they do have some kind of fabric holding them together. So, And then I just had to trim. But I must have gotten a little too close. There. So I wonder... I don't even know where it is. I was like, I wonder if I can take the glue dot off of this one. Oh, I can. Look at that, maybe. No, that's not going to work. That glue dot's had it. So is that. So a new glue dot, maybe, 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 maybe. Yes. It's like, where did I stash those? So this time I can put it like right here and then just stick that on top of it. All right, look at that. I mean, it's that it's that simple. Of course, you can wink a Stella this. You can even do a little bit of shimmer in the green, but I really like that I cut off that that bit. I mean, you could. Where is it? Did I, oh, it's over here. I mean, if I wanted to, I could have added a few more down there, but I think that's just unnecessary. So that that's it, guys. That is that simple. She's done. So this is this one, and this is the inside. And the mailer is so... That is four. It is. It's four. It's four by... It's not the right size. It's four by one to five. Should have been three and three quarters by five. I'll have to fix it. No, I'll leave it. So who wants this one? I've been putting names on my cards. If you're on my mailing list, give me a shout out. The first person who does, unless I've already given you a card, have your name on a card. This card's for you. I've got two of them. So the first two people who um, leave a comment and are on my mailing list. That means I have your address so I can mail them to you. If you want to be on my mailing list, um, contact me at Alice Seraphin 1969 at gmail.com. I'll have to put something um, there again. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like this little, uh, you know, it's just using a few little bits and pieces, some other stuff that I have. I want you guys to think about using what you guys have. And I hope this inspires you to think, oh, I can mix this. I, ha I have something similar. Let me pull that out and mix it with this paper pumpkin. Uh, that's what's so fun, I think, for me. And creative is using, I tried it one time not to use anything else. But I'm telling you, it, it's so much fun using other things. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. And please, as always, come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.